Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edward. And you know what? It's Bourbon Appreciation Month. So which bourbon cocktail am I making for you today? Why the last flight, of course. Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. It is the last day of Bourbon Appreciation Month. And because of that, we're gonna make a bourbon cocktail. Now this is called The Last Flight, and it's a combination of the last word and the paper plane. And I found this on Stefan Foise's Instagram account. And he found that from Steve the Bartender. And I'll put links down to all that stuff down below. However, this was created by Callum Rixham when he was the general manager at the hideout in Bath, England. And he created this for a friend who was leaving on a flight to go to Toronto, Canada, which is of course 40 minutes from where I live. And this drink was designed to be easy to make for pretty much anywhere where you could go in and say, I want this, this, and this, and this. And because it's stuff that pretty much every bar carries. So you would think that the first thing you need is your shaking glass. However, this is Bourbon Appreciation Month. So I'll put this off to the side. And we're gonna grab our bottle of bourbon. In this case, I have Buffalo Trace. And I'm gonna grab a little snifter because you know what? We should appreciate the bourbons that we're drinking on their own. So we'll give this a little bit of a pour. Smell it, smells good. I've got my caramel and saddle, my, my vanilla spices, and oh, it's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon, by the way, 40%. Oh, I love this. Well, this is 40, right? Actually, it's a 45%, which I love even more. Oh, and the spice, oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh yeah, um, and let's get back to actually making the cocktail. So first thing you're gonna use is, of course, your bourbon of choice. I'm using the Buffalo Trace here that I've already enjoyed and that gives me that beautiful warm glow inside. And we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. The next thing you'll use is a little bit of green chartreuse. Now green chartreuse is pretty awesome. It comes from uh, the French Elf and it's made with, made with 130 herbs and spices. You're gonna need another 22 and a half or three quarters of an ounce. And now it just looks nasty with that green look. This is kind of a strange cocktail when you look at the ingredients. The next ingredient you're gonna use is Aperol. So this is interesting. We have some oddball flavored going into an aperitif and they're all really good cocktail pieces. Now this is a 22 and a half, three quarters of an ounce. So it's amazing that the color of the Aperol just kind of overwhelms anything. However, we need lemon juice. And you want to uh, dissect your lemon juice because you need three quarters of an ounce. Good thing about this uh, cocktail is everything is a one to one to one to one ratio. So really simple, easy to make, easy to build, uh, you know, a basic blueprint on template off of. So what we'll do now is we'll give it a little bit of ice and we'll shake this for about 15 seconds. Ooh, did you hear that crack? Give it a shake. And with the strength of a thousand suns, you smash that off. Give that a bit of a drain. Now, get this ugly thing out of the way because we don't need this, we don't need this anymore. And you know what? We're gonna go back to this glass that we've already previously enjoyed our cocktail in. And you know why I wanna do that? It's already pre-rinsed with bourbon, so you're getting extra bourbon flavor, in my opinion. And the one thing I forgot to do is uh, take a peel of the lemon for our garnish. But I'm going to double strain this in here. Look at that. Oops, lemon pieces. We'll give this a little bit of a peel right here. Now, the recipe doesn't call for a garnish. However, 
I feel like doing something nice. Let's try this like so. I'm trying a new garnish. We'll do something different. Parallelograms. We're gonna give this a bit of a twist. And what we'll do is we'll cut down the center here. Give this a, a nice little Look at that. Simple, easy, decorative. It's nice, it's tiny. Uh, let's give this a bit of a smell. Oh, that does smell good. The first thing I get, of course, is the lemon because it's right there. You get those oils immediately upon taste, right? I don't need it in my nose. I'll put it in there. Mm, that's good. Oh, just a sec. Mm. You get a little bit of the lemon. Um, the Aperol comes out immediately to you. The bourbon is in the back end and in about the middle, I get the chartreuse. Oh, that's interesting. It's not overly tart. It's just shy of being a little bit naturally sweet. This is really, really good. Oh yeah. Oh, um, here's the bourbon month. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification while you're at it. That way you'll be notified every single time I put up a new video. And if you'd like to support us, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks. You know what? I think I'm going to have a couple of these for uh, the end of the month. And you know what? We'll see you next time. Because it's Bourbon Appreciation Month, we're going to grab one of these. Hit stop because I, I grabbed my glass funny. <laughs> and I'll put a link down to that there down below because I can't speak English.